Hello, I am Dr. Sanjay Patil, uh, ART consultant at Parak Hospital since last 10 years. Age is one of the important factors deciding success of an infertile couple. Here I would like to say that the female age is much more relevant than the male age. It is not only the chronological age, but it is the ovarian age. What I mean by ovarian age is the capacity of this ovary to produce egg. And it will depend upon how many eggs are present in this ovary at this given time. And so what we are basically talking by the ovarian age is the ovarian reserve at this age. Uh, commonly, ovarian reserve till recent past was estimated using two popular hormonal tests called the serum FSH and the serum inhibin B. Of the two, serum FSH had was found to be a little more robust and therefore was commonly practiced. However, even serum FSH has its drawback in the sense that it has to be done on day 2 or day 3 of a spontaneous menstrual cycle. It becomes very difficult when the patient's periods are irregular. Also, FSH is very sensitive to hormones, steroidal hormones like estrogen, especially a person who is taking medications which has steroidal um, hormones or is on OC pills, the FSH does not depict the ovarian reserve. Therefore, most of the time, the practitioners in infertility wanted another strong parameter to predict the ovarian reserve. As most of the time infertility is offered by gynecologists and gynecologists are very conversant with doing pelvic ultrasonography, the ovarian follicular count became a very important parameter for estimating the ovarian reserve. But still, in cases of polycystic ovarian disease, this remains a dilemma. Lately, a new test which is developed is called the serum anti-mullerian hormone test. It is found to be more reliable than the serum FSH as it does not get altered with medication. It can be done on any day of the cycle and any time of the day. Therefore, if one has to evaluate an infertile female partner today, the test which is re recommended for the ovarian reserve stands as serum anti-mullerian hormone estimation.